coverage. I'm with John Robertson, the 2014 CAA Offensive Player of the Year in the preseason, uh, an all-conference selection a season ago, already a Jerry Rice Award winner. Uh, congratulations on all the accolades. What does that mean to you to be put on Walter Payton Award watch list and to get all those, those trophies to bring home? Thank you, first off. Um, I mean, it's great. It just shows that, you know, everything that I've been doing is paying off. Uh, all the preseason stuff, you know, I, I think it's good to have the hype around. You know, I, I want to be a player that teams are looking at going, like, I don't want to play with him or my team. You know, I think that's great. Um, you know, it just, it just really shows hard work pays off. And I, looking back, maybe my freshman year, I don't know if I would have thought that I was here. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, a couple games into your freshman season, everyone could tell it was going to be a, a, a very good career uh, for the Wildcats. And unfortunately for all the coaches that have to plan against you, two more seasons to come. Now, let's talk about last year a little bit. Villanova was picked number one in the preseason, and I talked to Coach Talley moments ago about kind of the up and down year you had. Uh, what's your take on why you guys were unable to, to get that consistency last year? I, you know, I think we were overthinking things at times, uh, maybe looking ahead a few games where we should have just been going game by game. And, you know, I think we use that as a learning experience for this year coming up. Uh, we're still ranked high, and I feel like, you know, having a good team, that's what we should be. We should be ranked high. Um, you know, we should just go in and just work hard every game and not uh, every day and not really look into, like, playoffs or anything because, I mean, this league right now is real tough. Every, we have a long stretch of games where it's like we're going to have to go out and grind every week. We're looking at some of your highlights on the screen now. As you can see, running with the football, you led all quarterbacks in the country in rush yards last season. We're second in the CAA in yards per game rushing at, as a quarterback. You're a dual threat quarterback, obviously. You've had so much success. I'm sure there's a very small list, but what would be on that list of things you're looking to improve upon now that you're an upperclassman? Uh, I mean, just spreading the ball around to my teammates more, helping us widen the defenses out. I mean, last year we had a lot of defenses just stacking the box against us all the time. We had a lot of injured receivers, but this year we got a great receiving core coming back. We we're all healthy, and I think that we're going to be able to really spread the ball around. And also, our, both of our running backs are really good. Now, up front, blocking for you, helping out with some of that run game, uh, a great offensive line a year ago. You lose three offensive starters from the offensive line. Uh, who are some of the guys, and do you have confidence that the guys that will step in and be able to block for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, we, our, our left tackle I, right now who's going to compete, his name is Brad C, and he's a great guy for us. Yeah, he, he's been, I've been talking to him all summer going, like, you're going to protect me, right? And he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, he's like, no one's coming near you. So I like that. I think that they're really going to step up. Uh, and, yeah, last year a lot of my running plays were all just credited to my team blocking for me. It's not like I was out there doing it on my own. Like, they, they all helped me out. You open up at Syracuse, so we know on the basketball side, Villanova-Syracuse, that was a big rivalry for a long time now. In the uh, football game, uh, what would it mean to bring back a win to start the year back to Villanova? That would be great, playing against them. Uh, you know, a lot of kids on our team went there for, like, recruiting business and stuff and maybe didn't get offers. And, you know, it's just always good playing against the D1A team. It is uh, something special to watch you play football. We appreciate your time. Thank you. That was John Robertson, CAA Offensive Player of the Year this preseason.